7. P5M Marlin Crash Today, we're delving into a topic that will send shivers down your spine. Missing nuclear weapons. It may be hard to believe, but there are a number of nuclear bombs and warheads unaccounted for in the world right now. While pinpointing the exact number is a challenge, it's safe to say that it's not a small figure. So, how many of these world-altering devices are out there? It's anyone's guess, as many countries aren't exactly forthcoming about misplacing nuclear weapons. Broken arrow is a term used by the US military to describe accidental incidents involving nuclear weapons, components, or warheads that, although serious, do not lead to the risk of nuclear war. These incidents encompass unintended nuclear explosions, non-nuclear detonations or fires involving nuclear weapons, and radioactive contamination. But it also includes loss or misplacement of nuclear assets during transportation, as well as the deliberate release or abandonment of a nuclear weapon or its components. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of lost nukes and the unsettling reality that some of them are still lurking in the shadows. On September 25, 1959, a P-5M Marlin patrol aircraft operated by the U.S. Navy was conducting a routine mission off the coast of Whidbey Island, Washington. On board the aircraft was an unarmed nuclear depth charge, notable for lacking its fizzle core, which is the essential component needed for a nuclear explosion. Unfortunately, though, during the course of this seemingly ordinary mission, disaster struck. The P-5M Marlin encountered difficulties leading to a catastrophic crash into Puget Sound, a body of water in the Pacific Northwest. This accident had dire consequences, not only for the aircraft, but also for the unarmed nuclear depth charge it was carrying. Despite extensive efforts to locate and recover the weapon, it was never found. The depths of Puget Sound concealed the nuclear depth charge, leaving its fate uncertain. While the immediate danger of a nuclear explosion was averted due to the absence of the fizzle core, the loss of a military asset of this nature prompted thorough investigations and heightened security measures. Before we continue, if you're joining us for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button to unlock a treasure trove of incredible videos. And don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Drop a comment below and tell us what content you'd like to see next. 6. The Tybee Island Mid-Air Collision dead of night on February 5, 1958. A U.S. Air Force Boeing B-47 Stratojet bomber embarked on a simulated combat mission from Homestead Air Force Base in Florida. And it's important to note that it carried a formidable payload, a Mark 15 nuclear bomb weighing a staggering 7,600 pounds, 3,447 kilograms. At approximately 2 a.m., disaster struck when an F-86 fighter collided with the colossal B-47 bomber. The F-86's pilot, Lt. Clarence Stewart, managed to eject from his stricken aircraft, descending safely near Estill, South Carolina. Meanwhile, the damaged B-47 plummeted a terrifying 18,000 feet, 5,500 meters, from an altitude of 38,000 feet. 11,600 meters before its seasoned pilot, Colonel Howard Richardson, regained control, defying the odds. Realizing the gravity of their predicament, the B-47's crew made a fateful request to dispose of the nuclear bomb, lightening their load and mitigating the risk of a catastrophic explosion during an emergency landing. Permission was swiftly granted, and at an altitude of 7,200 feet, 2,200 meters, while hurtling through the night sky at approximately 230 miles per hour, 370 kilometers per hour, the Mark 15 bomb was released into the abyss below. And astonishingly, the crew didn't witness the anticipated explosion upon impact with the sea. In a remarkable display of airmanship, the crew managed to execute a safe landing at the nearby Hunter Air Force Base, just south of Savannah, Georgia. Debate continues to this day regarding the bomb's precise nature. Some sources depict it as a fully functional nuclear weapon, capable of unspeakable destruction if armed with a plutonium nuclear core. Others, however, suggest that it might have housed a dummy core, rendering it incapable of nuclear explosion but still packing a potent conventional punch. Regardless of its exact configuration, this colossal 12-foot behemoth 
4 meter is thought to lie buried under many feet of silt at the bottom of Wausau Sound, off the coast of Georgia. The Mark 15 nuclear bomb bears the serial number 47782 and is frighteningly laden with 400 pounds, 181 kilograms, of conventional high explosives and highly enriched uranium. 5. Philippine CA-4 Incident the 1965 Philippine CA-4 crash represents an alarming episode in the records of Cold War history. This incident occurred when a United States Navy Douglas A-4E Skyhawk attack aircraft, equipped with a nuclear weapon, plunged into the sea off Japan while operating from the aircraft carrier USS Ticonderoga. The unfortunate event transpired on December 5, 1965 during a routine training exercise. Just 31 days after the USS Ticonderoga's departure from the U.S. naval base Subic Bay in the Philippines, the aircraft, a Douglas A-4E Skyhawk, was being transported from the number 2 hangar bay to the number 2 elevator, when it was inadvertently pushed backward over the side, ultimately vanishing into the abyss. Tragically, not only did the aircraft meet its watery grave, but it was also accompanied by its pilot, Lieutenant Junior Grade Douglas M. Webster, as well as a formidable B-43 nuclear bomb. The depths of the Philippine Sea, estimated at 16,000 feet, 4,900 meters, concealed all traces of the aircraft, its valiant pilot, and the ominous cargo. This accident occurred approximately 68 miles, or 109 kilometers, from Kikai Island in Japan's Kagoshima Prefecture, raising concerns about the proximity of the lost 1 megaton, 1,000 kiloton H-bomb. But the U.S. Department of Defense didn't reveal this unsettling proximity until 1989, sparking diplomatic inquiries from Japan seeking detailed information about the incident. The 1965 Philippine CA-4 crash reminds us of the potential calamities that loomed during the Cold War era, underscoring the necessity for rigorous safety protocols when handling nuclear weapons. The disaster also prompted the critical need for transparency in addressing such incidents. 4. USS Scorpion The loss of the U.S. Scorpion remains a tragic and mysterious chapter in the history of the United States Navy. The submarine, which had been conducting training exercises and surveillance of Soviet naval activities, was en route to its home port in Norfolk, Virginia, when it disappeared in May 1968. Despite extensive search efforts involving numerous ships and aircraft, the submarine and its crew were declared presumed lost on June 5th. The Navy's efforts to locate the Scorpion were aided by mathematical consultants who employed Bayesian search theory a method previously used in locating lost nuclear assets. Ultimately, the wreckage of the Scorpion was discovered on the seabed more than 9,800 feet, about 300 meters below the surface, about 400 nautical miles, 741 kilometers, southwest of the Azores. The observed damage to the Scorpion's wreckage provided insights into the submarine's fate. It appeared that the submarine had suffered implosion forces as it sank below its crush depth. The operations compartment of the hull had collapsed, and the submarine was broken in two by the massive hydrostatic pressure at such great depths. The torpedo room compartment showed minimal damage, with a missing hatch from the forward escape trunk, likely a result of water pressure during the implosion. The sail, which housed various equipment, had been ripped off, and the propulsion shaft came out of the boat. The engineering section had compressed forward into the hull due to the collapsed pressure indicating the tremendous forces at play during the submarine's descent. The lack of radioactivity outside the wreck shows the nuclear fuel aboard the submarine remains intact, and no uranium in excess of levels expected from the fallout from past atmospheric testing of nuclear weapons has been detected during naval inspections. Likewise, the two nuclear-tipped Mark 45 torpedoes that were lost when the Scorpion sank show no signs of instability. The plutonium and uranium cores of these weapons likely corroded to a heavy, insoluble material soon after the sinking. The materials remain at or are close to their original location inside the boat's torpedo room. But if the corroded materials were released outside the submarine, their density and insolubility would cause them to settle into the sediment. 
Do you think there should be a worldwide cleanup of the world's oceans, one that includes every nation on the planet, in order to keep these nuclear weapons from causing further issues down the line? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're at it, subscribe to the channel. 3. The Palomares incident unfolded on a clear morning on January 17, 1966. A serene Spanish village called Palomares was rudely interrupted by the calamity that ensued when two aircraft collided mid-air, sending a cataclysmic shower of destruction over the tranquil town. The tragic event began with a Spanish shrimp fisherman who witnessed a strange sight, a misshapen white object descending from the sky. The mysterious object, trailing something beneath it, glided silently toward the Alborian Sea before vanishing beneath the waves. Simultaneously, in Palomaris, residents looked up to see two massive fireballs hurtling toward their town. The collision had occurred between a U.S. Air Force B-52 bomber and a KC-135 tanker plane. This catastrophic event unleashed chaos upon the village. The force of the impact caused buildings to tremble, sent shrapnel plummeting toward the ground, and even resulted in body parts falling from the sky. In the weeks following the collision, the true extent of the disaster became apparent. It was revealed that four B-28 thermonuclear bombs were on board the aircraft, and three of them had been recovered on land. However, one bomb had vanished into the depths of the Mediterranean Sea. The missing bomb presented a grave concern due to its 1.1 megaton, 1100 kiloton warhead possessing the explosive power equivalent to 1.1 million tons, 1.1 billion kilograms of TNT. The urgency to locate and recover this lost nuclear device was paramount, and luckily it was eventually recovered intact from the Mediterranean after a search lasting two and a half months. 2. K-219 In October 1986, the world bore witness to a dramatic and potentially catastrophic episode in the depths of the ocean. The Soviet Union's 667A Project Yankee-class submarine, K-219, embarked on what seemed like a routine patrol off the coast of Bermuda. But little did anyone know that this mission would turn into a perilous ordeal that could have had grave consequences during the height of the Cold War. K-219, under the command of Captain Igor Britanov, set sail from Gadizyevo, Russia, and headed west toward the eastern coast of the United States for a covert Cold War-era patrol. On board the submarine were 16 R-27 nuclear missiles and two nuclear reactors ready to execute its classified mission. However, just shy of 700 miles, or 1,127 kilometers northeast of Bermuda, disaster struck. An explosion occurred in one of the missile tubes when a seal ruptured, allowing seawater to trickle inside, where it mixed with the missile's liquid fuel, producing potentially explosive and toxic nitrogen dioxide gas. Then, in a desperate bid to avert catastrophe, Captain Britenov ordered the submarine to rise to a higher depth. Unfortunately, though, the ruptured hull opening let in more water, causing the sub to sink even deeper. Stabilizing the submarine to halt its descent, Captain Britanov ordered the evacuation of most of the crew to a nearby towing ship. Tragically, three sailors lost their lives in the initial explosion, while Lieutenant Nikolai Belokov and senior seaman Sergei Preminin, who heroically shut down the reactors, were unable to escape. As the Soviets tried to salvage the situation by towing the damaged K-219 back to Russia, tragedy struck once more. The tow rope snagged, and the submarine plunged five and a half miles, nine kilometers, to the ocean floor, resting there for eternity. In the aftermath of this calamity, rumors swirled. Some suggested that the K-219 had collided with the United States Navy submarine Augusta, although the Navy vehemently denied this. Others speculated about mysterious forces in the vicinity of the Bermuda Triangle. Charges of negligence were initially brought against Captain Britanov, but were later dropped. 
However, he was discharged from the military in 1987. In subsequent deep sea expeditions in 1986 and 1987, the Soviet Institute of the Sea discovered the K-219 broken in half on the ocean floor, with empty missile tubes hanging open. And to make matters worse, K-219's full armament of nuclear weapons was lost along with the vessel. 1. B-47 Stratojet Disappearance On March 10, 1956, an incident unfolded in the skies over the Mediterranean Sea that would plunge the United States into a tense and frantic search operation. A B-47 Stratojet, an advanced strategic bomber of the time, was on a fateful mission that would take an unexpected turn. The B-47 Stratojet wasn't just an ordinary aircraft. It carried a cargo of immense consequence nuclear weapons material. This mission was part of the U.S. Air Force's efforts to maintain a robust nuclear deterrent strategy during the Cold War. However, on that ill-fated day, something went terribly wrong. As the B-47 soared over the Mediterranean, it mysteriously vanished from radar screens, leaving a growing sense of unease and anxiety among military personnel and officials. The aircraft, equipped with nuclear weapons, had seemingly disappeared into thin air. The disappearance set off a massive search and rescue operation, involving aircraft, ships, and submarines scouring the vast expanse of the Mediterranean Sea. The stakes were unimaginably high, as the loss of nuclear weapons material could have far-reaching and dire consequences, including the risk of falling into the wrong hands. So, for days, search teams combed the waters, desperately hoping to locate any trace of the missing B-47 and its potentially catastrophic cargo. The operation was carried out secretly, as the U.S. government was keenly aware of the need to prevent public panic and international alarm. But despite the exhaustive efforts of the search teams, the B-47 Stratojet and its nuclear payload remained elusive, shrouded in mystery and uncertainty. The disappearance of the aircraft and its deadly cargo left many questions unanswered and raised concerns about the security and safety of nuclear weapons during transportation. In the end, the fate of the B-47 and its nuclear payload would remain a mystery, lost to the depths of the Mediterranean Sea. And while the incident didn't lead to a nuclear event, it served as a reminder of the inherent risks and vulnerabilities associated with the possession and transportation of nuclear weapons. The unsettling truth about missing nuclear weapons challenges our understanding of global security. And while broken arrow incidents might not lead to nuclear war, they do reveal the fragility of our control over these world-altering devices. The mysteries of the lost nukes and their lurking presence highlights the grave responsibility we bear in safeguarding our world from the unimaginable consequences. How do you think these missing nuclear weapons will affect our planet, including the people who live on it in the future? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.